Hello everyone, Daniels here. After we got Eclipse started in the previous tutorial, we need to point Eclipse to our JDK installation. We have to do this both for a PC and for a Mac. So the first step is to go to Window and Preferences. Now, if you're on a Mac, then you're going to see a tab here you're going to see a drop down menu here that just says eclipse and then click on that drop down menu on the left that says eclipse and then inside the drop down menu you're going to see the preferences like you see here so in windows it's window.preferences on a mac you're going to see like an eclipse drop down menu and then you can also select preferences uh, but don't worry, this is pretty much the only difference in Eclipse between Windows and a Mac. The rest of Eclipse is exactly the same for Windows and for a Mac. So if you have a Mac, this is pretty much the only thing you have to do a little bit differently um, than, than I'm doing here on the Windows. But for the rest of the menus, for the rest of the features, for the rest of the project work, it will be exactly the same on a Windows and on a Mac, so don't worry. This is the only menu which is located in a different place. The rest of the menus are located in exactly the same place. They look exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same, only this menu is under a different location. For Windows, it's under Window Preferences. For a Mac, you, there is like an Eclipse, there is like a drop-down menu here that says Eclipse. You go to a drop down menu that says Eclipse and you're going to find preferences just like you see here. Everything else from now on till the very end of the course, there will be no difference between a Windows and a Mac whatsoever. So this is the only this this tutorial is the only difference. So just bear with me this one if you're on a Mac, bear with me this one more tutorial and from then on. There won't be any difference whatsoever between a Windows and a Mac. Okay. Preferences, Windows Preferences. Here now everything is the same between a Windows and a Mac. Type JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Uh, <laughs> then it's going to show install JREs. Let's click here. Okay. So it's going to point to some JRE but this is a Java runtime environment and we actually want to point the Eclipse to our JDK. JDK is more robust than a simple JRE environment, Java runtime environment. So we need to add our JDK. Let's click add standard VM next. And then here it says JRE home, but it might as well have said JDK home. We need to find the directory of our JDK. Click on directory. It's okay. Let me show Windows and then I'll discuss how it's done on a Mac. So in Windows, computers, C, uh, program files. Let's sorry, I have a lot of folders. Uh, apologize. <laughs> program files. Uh, let's find, find, find Java. There we go, Java. And all we need to select is the JDK. You see there is this GRE, but GRE is not so good for development. For development, we need the more powerful JDK that we installed. Click on JDK and click OK. That's all it is. OK, now on the Mac, unfortunately, it's a tad more complicated. Actually, well, uh, you know, actually, I'm not, I won't say it's more complicated, but we all we have to. It's not. It's not that it's more complicated, but you you have to follow a different set of steps. You have to locate where the JDK is installed on your Mac. So the way to do this, the, I think the easiest way to do this is to go to the terminal. The to this black this black terminal window, huh? And then. In the terminal, type cd slash library, then cd java, cd java virtual machines, then here you can do an ls 
to see which JDKs are available. For example, in my case, I would have this JDK folder, CD into the folder, CD contents, CD home, and then write PWD. This will show you the full directory path. Okay, take this directory path, copy it, so copy it from the terminal, and then here you would, of course, you would want to paste it. Clearly, you want to pay. clearly it doesn't work in my case because I have um, I have a Windows, but you you in a Mac you'd be able to paste it, and once as you do paste it, well then uh, that's it. That's all it is. You paste it. It should find your JDK, and now that we've done with that, now now it's now from now on. Now, this was the last time for this entire course that we had a difference between a PC and a Mac. From now on, I cannot think of a single additional difference between a PC and a Mac. So if you're on a Mac, that's it. We're done. Now, 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 now we got in a good place. Now we can just continue and whatever you see in my computer will be exactly the same in your computer. So everything is cool. So let's click finish. Now that we have this JDK, let's d remove the JRE and let's keep only the JDK. Click OK. And there we go. This is it. So that's all we need to do. Now Eclipse is pointing to the JDK. Wonderful. So now that we've done that, um, sorry, now that we've done that, um, we'll finish this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will continue and we will have to install Glassfish which is a Java EE environment. Okay, and until next time, thank you for watching this lecture, this tutorial. Thank you.